When using Salesforce contracts, one thing that you'll want to look out for um, are just a couple of basic settings that you can find in the admin setup menu. Um, so to get there, once I'm in uh, setup, I can come in here and just type contract. If I come into contact uh, contract settings, you can see that there's a couple of um, settings here. So the first one is auto calculate contract end date. That's if you'd like to manually populate um, the contract end date, you can uncheck this. Uh, send contract expiration notice emails to account and contract owners. Uh, this one's pretty nice. Obviously, uh, you could redo this same um, type of thing with flow um, if you wanted. And then last, you have track history for all statuses. Another just convenient one to turn on so you can monitor. Um, so just a couple things that, uh, you know, not a lot of, I noticed not a lot of people realize that these are here. Uh, the one that I'd say is most commonly used is the contract end date. Often, you know, that gets stuck and people trying to find out how to change it.